Hi guys, welcome back to Deus Ex. And, uh, prod charger. I don't even need those anymore. I'm not even bothering with, like, stunning people anymore because it's not necessary. Not when you have a gem gun. There is a place here, uh, like I mentioned last time. No, no, it's not necessary. Oh. Oh crap. Uh, he, I might be bone. There we go. That's ah, just good up to him. Oh, get the buckshot. Ah, I hate this thing. I want the assault shotgun. I want so much better. Alright, so there is some stuff here, and we gotta go up onto an elevator somewhere. Uh, not elevator, sorry. Uh, a ladder somewhere. Uh, maybe not this one. Are you kidding me? Any more, you guys? Oh, whatever. I'll try and avoid him. Don't really need to bring out the gift gun just quite yet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I can't. Oh, wait. Here's the ladder. I think it's the ladder. Oh, here you go. Nothing here, but we gotta keep going this way, so let's keep trucking. And then over there. Oh, crap. It's that last jump. I don't know if there's like a specific skill to help your uh, jumping skills. I don't know. Actually, I haven't checked uh, my skills as of, as of late. Ooh, I can finally get it. And no, it's just like swimming and stuff. It moves like a dolphin underwater. And it can go really fast. But now I get maximum uh, rifle, which is really good. And so I think I'll do like heavy. Well, I, th no, I think I was going to do one in lock picking. Now I was going to move on to heavy. But now, now if you watch my sniper sway, there is none. And like these weapons come out, they're perfectly accurate, like from the beginning. Alright. This is the hard one. There we go. And this is oh, accuracy modification. Alright. And this one does. I don't know, I'll just add it onto the sniper. Because I, I, I'm not, as I said, I'm not keeping all the guns here, I think. I, I have yet to decide this. I kind of want the plasma. I don't know. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, there we go. Now, probably if you were going down in the sewerways, as you saw me coming last time, I don't know where you'd come up from, though. Is someone there? I think they know. Uh oh. <laughs> One shot kill. kill. Dude, this thing's amazing. Uh oh. Okay. It's not gonna set off any alarms, is it? Let's do this. It's so nice of the thing to give me like an hour to get in here. Uh, let's see. Multi tools. Cool. And I cannot carry anymore. That's okay. I don't use them that much, anyways, because um, they mostly unlock lasers and stuff, but I've noticed that lasers is the one thing that isn't usually a barrier that's impossible to pass, as EMP grenades and stuff. No I okay, I, I swore I missed them. You can slow that down and see. Okay, leveled up guns is crazy. The shotgun just became an actual shotgun. So I know. Well, I could probably use some of this stuff. <laughs> oh, whatever. Cause they, have, they have, like, drinks and stuff, but, like, every time I'm gonna have to do this, I'm gonna have to go, like, drop it. And then pick it all up. <laughs> and, like, just do that. Oh, I guess that's not such a hassle. Oh, wait, but I, I have the hotkey for that anyways. Uh. Alright, so let's see the restrooms. Last time I had a nasty surprise when I opened one of these. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Alright. 
Um, oh, this one's easy to open. Just do those. Do you know why? Because there's a bunch of locked things behind here, if I recall. Uh oh. Yeah, like right here. That one didn't open for some reason. Oh, wait, wait. Five, nine, fourteen. And another lamb. Kind of curious to see what's in there. I, I'll use the lockpick for it. It's only one. Darts and six. Okay, no, not worth it. I guess it's kind of cheating if you're using the lockpicks and then just loading it up again. But you know, I don't really care. Not a big deal by picking. Okay, so it's like five one fourteen. Uh, five five fourteen. No, maybe I was right the first time. Uh, five nine fourteen. Whoops. All right. It's so nice of the, gun, the game to give me a gap gun. Hey, cool. Huh. You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF. Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Grey Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the president is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. I'm sure he can. <laughs> uh, let's just save it. Oh, now it's loading. Okay. So let's see what's in the, all these fancy rooms. It's an awesome plane, though. I thought that would be the cockpit, not, not a random thing. Alright. And then we just toss it. Start eating stuff. <laughs> it really does work. I could get also really drunk. I wanted to, but I don't want to do that actually right now. So we have, I don't know, a bunch of stuff here. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Charge this. That's the last one. Good work. Nine zero five. No, no, I was like, there we go. That's what it was. Remember, remember what? Remember the computer I found before? Oh man, I really need to carry this. Um, uh. I don't know. Forget this. What kind, of, what kind of augmentation canister is it? EMP shield and ballistic uh, protection. Uh, where does this one go? I don't even know. Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out. Alright. And also, what's here? No, nothing's here. Alrighty, what's in the in the plane? We have 10 millimeter ammo. A lot of the game is collection, actually. Well, for me it is. It doesn't have to be for you. I just kind of enjoy it. What the hell? I I could blow that up, I guess. Um. Really? No no options. I guess not. Alright, blow the hell out of it. Lamb ammo. That's how I open all my doors. And there's the guy. But we're gonna just uh, finish taking a little more drink. Alrighty. Hey, wait, there's a keypad here. 9905. Oh, there you go. So, same one. Uh, I saw it inside the other thing. And there's nothing in this fancy little thing with Bob. I surrender. What? He's in our agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. 
We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray Yonatko without a reason. Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. Yonatko policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. Look at this Magnum here. Let's, let's check out the Magnum first. Oh, fine. We'll, we'll, do, we'll deal with this first. Okay. So you're given a choice. I have the command here now. You kill her. Wow, ah! oh, that was not good. Um. <laughs> she blows up. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, you, you have that option. You can take her out. Uh, I never knew about that. This is the first time I've ever done that, so... I guess Paul must have convinced you. Story changes. Alright. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. You and Paul. When you get back to Unatko, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and Unatko are just a couple of their tools. Okay. <clears throat> so now I got a Magnum. Oh, this is this is I think one of the special weapons. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna drop that because I'm actually not gonna carry that around. But there's a uh, the mods add a lot of special weapons. They're actually pretty cool. So yes, I killed uh, Agent Navarra. Jesus, JC, that was Agent Navarra. She was out of line there about the execution. But oh my God, Manderly will have you shot. We have to erase the log files. I don't like this, but I'll protect you this time. I guess you have to stand up for what you what you believe. See to the helipad. We know your brother was here. He is gone, but we will find him. You in charge? I have something for you. I'm about to pull out. Maybe you should talk to one of the troopers. I filched this stuff from a guy's locker. I'm selling a recoil weapon mod for 400. I also have some shotgun shells I'll give you for 300. Uh. Here's four. Gotta get rid of some. Oh, one second. Yes, sir. I'll take the. <laughs> I like his attitude. four hundred for the. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. I don't really need the, the shotgun ammo though. No, I really don't. I'll put this on the sniper. The sniper is something I'm gonna hopefully keep. I do. Well, uh, I guess we go to the helipad. I don't know where we go. I'm kind of exploring. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> So yeah, um, normally what would happen is, um, well actually I'm not going to tell you what would normally happen with Navarre, but uh, yeah, so I killed her. Deal with it. Oh wait, there is some stuff here. Oh, it's a 747 diagram. Yeah, hey, more rockets. How much do I have now? 19. Holy shoot. This is why it's so useful to carry around. Oh, a weapon mod for accuracy. And we'll put that onto... How much accuracy does this thing have already? It already has 100%. What, what am I going to change? Whatever, I'll just put on this gun then. And more 10 mil, which I'm not using anymore. So we're not, we're not going to worry about that. I, I think we got everything though. Jesus H. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, uh... JC? That was Agent Navarre. I think we have to go back this way in order to get out of here. 
I don't know where, where the helipad is. Yeah, but everything, they've all taken them all out, so... Alright. Uh... Oops, nope, I don't want to lock it. I'll lock it. So, all clear, sir. Why, thank you. I think the helipad is down this way. Whenever I hear the heli, I'll know. We've disabled the security grid. Yeah, well, thanks for that. <laughs> Coming behind me. Huh. Alright. Who's this? Mandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Yeah, well, there was shooting on the 747. I didn't see what happened. Maybe Anna beat you to it. I will investigate. You might need backup. Hey, <laughs> about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. You know, I'm kind of curious what happens if you kill him now. Looks like he's a lot more difficult to take on than I thought. But he took like a rocket to the back of the head. I don't think you're supposed to kill him. Navarre just dropped like instantly. Uh, we'll, we'll leave him for now. Lunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. The coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's move out. Get in. Yeah, Jack, tell me to get in. Alright. The game will start to pick up, hopefully. Uh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Every time there is always something here. Oh, this is already unlocked. Oh, no, really? Oh, there's a crowbar. I think it was 005. Zero, zero, no. Four, five, one. Oh, crap. It's like one of the first ones, and I always forget it. All the way down here. Uh, uh, uh. 0451. Okay, sorry. 0451. And they fixed that thing, basically. And we got Sabbath shells. Which is, um, something for the shotgun. I don't, I don't remember what it does. I guess we'll find out. Look how they let me come in here with, like, all my guns. Manderly wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. <laughs> Killed Navarre instead. Agent Naval. Alright, let's 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 go check this out. Yum. Mandalay's blowing his top. You better go see him on the double. <laughs> for for not killing an unarmed prisoner. Okay. So these are kind of the choices you make. And and it and it changes. It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides that? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. Maybe it's the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. Hmm. It's manufactured, they say. Basketball. This, this. Alright. Hey, lots of 10mm ammo. And multi-tool. Oh. 
and someone left me a recall mod. Uh, let's just toss this for a second. See, it's always just some stuff under here. <laughs> I don't know why they keep it like that, but okay, what's the recall on this? Uh, already like nothing. And the recall on this one is nothing. And recall on this one is... Wow, there's no recall on anything. Can't, I can't do it on the, the rockets though. Well, let's put on the sniper, I guess. Okay. What's here? Ooh! Ammo! There we go. <laughs> See, you don't need lockpicks. Screw that. Guess darts, sure, why not? Hey, there's some people here. Uh... What kind of pain? Behind the eyes, a sharp burning, almost electrical. How's your bioelectric level? It's always at 100%. I like to stay prepared. That's probably it right there. Free radicals. You should charge your systems only when they've been significantly drained. I wasn't informed of that. It's a lot like an electric razor. If you leave it plugged in all the time, the battery loses its zero point. Just watch your levels. Interesting. Thanks, Doctor. Let me know how it goes. So apparently we're all walking giant batteries. <laughs> okay. Uh... And three, seven, five. There we go. I saw you listening in. Yes, it's true. I have augmentations like yours. Don't you work down in Washington? Actually... I'm the director of FEMA. Sounds like you wouldn't have much use for physical augmentations. You underestimate the demands of my work. We deal with every sort of natural and unnatural disaster you can imagine. But you're the director. You work behind a desk. Am I behind a desk right now? No, I'm not. That's because we have a situation here in New York. I got to my position because I can fix things. You will see shortly because as you have probably noticed yourself, this agency is broken. It needs an overhaul. Aha. Uh -huh. Get everybody patched up. I did my best. You're looking good. Never felt better. They just dropped off a few liters of the ambrosia you recovered, by the way. Good work out there, Denton. I want you to know, we will not let your brother's activity cast its shadow on you. Yes, sir. I'm grateful for that. I just wish we'd found out sooner. No harm done. We have you to take his place. Is a few leaders going to be enough? Well, no one on staff's gonna catch Grey Dead this m Uh huh. So we're learning a lot about the game. Oh, and anything behind here? It's very slow, slow. Yeah, it's only once I think you get stuff from it. It's a real shame. But there's more here. A lockpick. There we go. It's good. What? I can't believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess he got a better offer. What a blow. I don't know how we'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderly available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. Anything behind your desk? No. He's gonna chew me out now. Here. Take your op bonus. One thousand. No oh, use splitting hairs this time. I have some bad news about Agent Navarra. No shit! <laughs> what the hell happened in there? Lebedev. A surprise attack. I find that hard to believe. You're digging your own grave if you cover up for your brother. Yes, sir. I'm not covering up for Paul, sir. Because he's gone, JC. I hope you'll understand this. The Coalition has shut down his augmentations and activated the kill switch. Activated? What? Some very important officials have become nervous. Nervous about Paul, but also about you. I think I've proved myself. Can they really kill him by pressing a button? Yes, and you too. So take these orders seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please. Just get your equipment and meet our pilot, Jock, at the helipad. You'll need to take out a man called Tracer Tong. Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? 
Yes. It's critical that they trust you. Uh huh. Ah, no messages. No. Oh. Let's get rid of that chair. Why is there a newspaper on the ground? I was just talking about stuff. Oh, <laughs> another weapon modification. Uh, what, what's, how's the reload on this? Uh, like one second. Oh, I can fix the rocket's reload. That sounds good. 1.8 seconds. Alright, then we'll go downstairs. Grab some more guns. Whatever else we need. Then what'd you do? I chased them into the building. Weren't you scared? A little, but when I'm wearing this helmet, I've learned to set aside the instincts of a civilian and be completely professional. <laughs> they had assault guns! Tactically, I had the advantage. It was important to act before the situation changed. How you troopers do it, I can't imagine. He's <laughs> gloating about the mission. But he came in after me, he didn't even do anything. Wow. Alright. Oh, med bay first, because... Where's the med bots? Where is the freaking med bots? There we go. There's one med bot on duty. Okay, so... Uh, subdermal slot, so it's over here. And uh, so we can either uh, damage from EMP attacks or damage from projectile weapons. I think I will take the projectile weapons. Because screw EMP weapons. And now I can... I have a bit of health. Prevention, basically. If I'm going into a big battle situation, just turn that on. It's like F3, so it's easy, easily accessible. Uh, whoops. I already have like a billion health packs. Oh, another augmentation canister. Ooh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you either get to run really fast, uh, so you can jump, and speed is increased while falling damage is reduced. Or you get to walk around silently uh, when you move. Um, so, judging by my style of play, what, guess which one I'm going to take? Ding ding. The speed. <laughs> and uh, I'm also going to upgrade it. It's going to be the first thing I upgrade. Because it is the best thing ever. Uh, I don't know how to... Oh wait, there we go. There we go. So no, F7. We. Uh, I have to upgrade it a little bit more, though. I need, I need to have it uh, as a more accessible key, though, because F7 is a little... We You just jump around. We What the hell were you thinking, JC? Agent Navarro was out of line. I had no choice. They'll have you killed. They won't even blink an eye. Neither did I. Well, watch what you say around Manderley. Let's leave it at that. I've been in contact with Gunther, by the way. No sign of your brother at the airport. He sure caused his share of trouble. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him, or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. <laughs> I like how he can't look at me, because I, I jumped all the way around. Hey, I'll take the lockpick. <gasps> There's also a, his trapdoor here somewhere, right there. I always have trouble finding it. Oh, no, come on. And, oh, no one put anything here this time, and the bot just went right over this. Why does it not fall in? It's not fair. I don't know if there's anything interesting on the computers right now. But we'll hack in and we'll see. Icebreaker. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh wow, absolutely nothing today. I think they're catching on to me. My vest caught a few slugs, but I had a job to do and I did. What the hell? Amazing. Um. What do you mean by overhaul? You will receive a memo in a few days. I am still collecting data. UNATCO was very effective this evening. We recaptured the shipment. You don't have to worry, Agent. It's the softer elements I am after. Like who? You're beginning to exceed your clearance. What are you? Angel OA? Excuse my persistence. I'll wait for the memo. Good. Carry on. Okay. Here, have a thing. <laughs> More prod chargers? Goddamn. 
It's it's on Navarro's uh, office too. It makes no sense. Uh. Oh. This is no time to be messing around. Yes, it is. Do you have anything to give me? How are you holding up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about Lebanon. You refused an order to kill in cold blood. Precisely your duty as a UNATCO peacekeeper. Manderly certainly does. He'll cool down. The important thing is that you obey your conscience. Right. Tell me what you need, and I'll load you up. Uh... Ooh, sniper rifle. Sniper rifle, 30 out 6. You learn fast. I'm impressed. I got more ammo for it. It has, like, perfect accuracy now, so... It's all good. Oh, I, you know, I really like those kinds of choices. Like, what, what do you need? You know, you want the extra rocket? How many rockets do I have? I have like 19, so I'm, I'm good to go. You have anything you want. All right, well, let's get out, and uh, we'll call it a day. So long, agent. Yeah, so long. Drawing knives. <laughs> oh, those are awesome. I love this boss. I run just as fast as it. Wait, let's try this. Oh, let's try this again. We'll miss you, Agent. Yeah, I, <laughs> I almost go just as fast as it. That's kind of fun. Oh, no, I don't want that. All right. I'm taking you to New York. My orders are to go to Hong Kong. Your brother's in trouble. You need to meet him in Hell's Kitchen at the apartment. What's wrong? I'll let him speak for himself. He just wanted me to get you to the hotel. Well, that is everything for today, guys. Uh, so I will see you next time. And we end with a fade out with a helicopter. See you later.